Hi, my name is Noah Gift and I teach and consult in cloud-based machine learning. We're gonna talk about developing machine learning apps on AWS. First, let's go through what we're gonna talk about. Uh, we're going to start with uh, an intro and we'll get into setting up AWS Cloud9, also talking about getting Flask apps running and key machine learning components, and then also we'll go through and serve out a prediction. Let's get started. First, let's get into the AWS Management Console. From here, what I'm gonna do is get into Cloud9, which is a cloud-based uh, development environment. And I'm gonna first set up a new environment. So I'll go through here, create a new environment. Uh, this can be a very simple environment that we can leave all the defaults to. So we'll say, hello, ML. And I'll say, uh, this is a new environment. And then from here, when I go to the next step, I'll leave all of these defaults. Again, these are uh, free settings for this cloud-based environment in AWS. All right, this looks good. We'll go through and create this environment. Typically, this takes about 20 seconds or so. And what we'll do next is go through and check out this Flask uh, machine learning application that previously was deployed on Azure. What's great about Flask and Scikit-Learn and Python is that they're cross-platform tools that are easily able to run on any cloud platform. So uh, while that's actually spinning up, let's go over to Flask here and let's go ahead and go to this repo, which is Flask ML Azure Serverless, and take a look at how this works. So this is a GitHub repository with Azure pipelines that automatically gets deployed using MLOP. So MLOps techniques, well, that all works by uh, deploying it to this app service, and then we can make predictions. Well, I'm going to do the same thing on this uh, AWS environment, except for I'll just stop at the local prediction. So uh, I'll go through here and select this code, and uh, I'll, as this is finishing, check this out. There we go. It looks like we're ready to go. And uh, the first thing that I typically do when I'm checking out an environment is I will go through and create a new Python virtual environment. So we'll say Python 3-m venv tilde slash, and I like to call it the name of the project, so we'll just call this um, hello ml. Great. Uh, once I do that, I'll source it. And what this does is allows me to have an isolated Python so I don't have conflicts with different packages. Uh, so from here, uh, I'll go ahead and um, check this out. So we'll say git, git clone. And notice when I do this git clone, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to create the SSH keys here really quickly. I'll do that by typing in SSH keygen. Uh, let's go through here and say keygen-trsa. Press return a few times. And that'll give me a public key that I can give to GitHub. All right, got this. I can put this into GitHub and this will allow me to do bi-directional uh, push and pull to GitHub. So I'll go to my GitHub profile, go to this icon here and select settings, go to SSH and GPG keys, create a new key. We'll say new key, AWS, and it'll ask me for my password. We'll go through and set that up. And now if I go back again and I do the checkup by doing the uh, the SSH um, authentication, it now works. Great, I can CD into this repo. And what I typically would do is uh, go through here and do a make install because I set up my projects with a make file type setup, which in a nutshell, it allows me to run make install and it hides a bunch of pip commands like pip install, dash dash upgrade pip, and also the requirements file, which has all of the packages that I need. Here we go. So I'm gonna go through here and say make install. And this should take just maybe 30 seconds or so. And the next thing that I'll do I'll, as that's installing is look at this application file. And this is really the heart and soul of the machine learning application. And in a nutshell, at the very beginning here, we import Flask. Then we get into Pandas and Scikit-Learn, which are common data science libraries. and at this uh, section right here under line 27, I do a slash predict and I create a post method that accepts a JSON payload. And this JSON payload is what's gonna do all the work. I then import a, a model, a machine learning model that's laying on disk. Uh, and then 
I take that JSON payload and pass it to that model. And that model lives uh, uh, right here and I scale it and then do a prediction. And the scaling is so that I get uniform columns that are uh, uh, basically using the same metrics, like instead of having foot and, and meters, I'm, all, I'm always using things between zero and, and one. Great, so now that that's working, what I'm gonna do next here is run a Python app. And this will run this in foreground mode. Now, what's great about this Flask app, and you can see here, this is that line, is that I can uh, really test this out locally and make sure that my prediction works. I'm gonna go to new terminal, and I'm gonna go to this uh, piece of code here called make predict. And all it does is it does a curl command, and, and I'm doing it in this file so I don't have to remember all these different things I have to type out. So here we go. It's gonna pass a post command to localhost uh, port 5000, and it's gonna pass in this JSON payload. Let's go ahead and run this. So run make predict. And if this is successful, let's go bash make predict. Oh, I need to CD into this directory here. There we go. And then I'll do make predict. And if this is successful, what will happen is that, there we go, I, I've got a prediction that, ser that served out. And I can look at the log file entries here and my application is running. So in a nutshell, let's go back and cover what we did. Uh, I was able to set up Cloud9, get a Flask app running. We went through some of the key components of the machine learning application, and then I served out a prediction.